All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, last time we left off, we were... You know what? I'll be honest, I have no idea where we were. I think we came down from the basement. And now we are on our way to search for... Something. I don't know. Rose petals. Blood. Might be something over there. Let's go over here. to the inner sanctum it will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey so you have ridden an elevator before yes the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one it takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama good this ride might be a little longer and in the other direction Please don't tell me we're running downstairs. That would suck. That is locked. Well, we're gonna have to find some way to get this open and fixed. Nope, oh, wrong one. Find a key that unlocks the door leading to a ma machine room. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Study room. This room. The thin cold mist brushed his face as he stepped outside. London weather could be brutal, cruel, but it was the kind of cruelty he could handle. What happened here? My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? Second of July. 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Quite unfortunate. For the spider, I think. Oh, wait, hang on. I ah, forget it. Might not even be something special. Hey! Due to a broken lock. Oh, of course. Wait, I can just break the lock, can I? Oh, it's working! Wait, hang on. Got a thing. I hear wind. Whatever. Take a nap. Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. 
This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? What is this better orb? I have a crowbar now. I have a weapon! Really, I could have still used that as a weapon. The key. Please, let it be here. Fourth of July, 1839. It's done! The orb is assembled! I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. What is the orb? What does it do? I have no idea. I am Cat Night Joe. Oh god, okay. I had a crowbar, but then I had to break it, didn't I? I shall have no fear. You know, I'd probably just fight that thing with the chairs that I have in the outside. You know, this is a nice closet. One of the nicest closets I've ever been. I think I just rip this thing off and just stab it in the eye. It's gone. Cool. I don't like you. Where's my key, my objective? There it is. Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. Hey, a body. Did I just not notice that before? Here, we need to eat. Deep fry it. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. No. Oh, that sounds nice. What's in here now? I wonder. Storage. He flipped through the Book of Monarchs, looking for etchings, and counted. Nine different kings from all over Europe had been detected with an orb resting in their hands. And this is where I die, isn't it? Yep. Oh, well, it's not being blue at the very least. I have a lockpick. I still have this.
Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Wait, the darkness and the storage feel strange and unnatural. Wait for the night vision kicking. I too much center boxes, good. Drill part. Oh wait, I think I see him. I do. Just imaginary. He can't hurt me. He's not even here. Can I light that up? Nope. Let me just close the door real quick. Is he gone? I'm thinking he's gone. Here, just near the light. Is he gonna jump scare me? Somebody crying. Okay. Might be fueling the taps, right? Gotta find some lubricant. That's just my imagination. Needn't need to worry about it. Damn it. Need more. Alright, that's where I came from. Need to go this way. If I break open. They didn't. Books. Box. Alexander, I prepared the explosives. Explosives? I don't remember there being combat in the game. I have prepared the explosives you need for clearing the flood drain. I can't stress how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your feather brain servants this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is mix the liquids and you're ready to go. Agrippa. Okay. Next room, that should be over here. Have it off. Okay, I have a drone now. Can I use it on this? I can! Oh. I need to find two jars. Shouldn't be too hard. Nice. 
Beautiful. But I still need to find two jars. Oh, wait. Hang on. Nice. Okay, now I can use that to float. Float the hole that's upstairs. Hopefully, and there won't be a monster up here who will try to kill me, like there usually is. Do not stand too close. Gotcha. They cover behind the barrel. Do I have to light it or? Maybe throw something at it. Oh, oh, wait. Sweet. Okay, man. So where the hell am I? Why are there so many barrels here, man? For what reason? What do you have inside these barrels, anyways? Oh, hey, chest. Oh. Really? What did I do to you? Here, take that. I'm imagining because this is the start, they'll give you a bunch of items, but then they gradually give you less and less. That's why I'm hoarding my stuff. I do not want to run out, especially in a game like this. I just heard something. Oh my god, oh my god, Jesus fucking Christ! Oh no, 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 that was real, that was real! Right? Oh, he did. Use the barrel. Block it. Pull him down. Oh, he's pissed off. Okay. 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 Who is. We're gonna barricade ourselves in. Bunch of barrels. I guess that was my fault, huh? For thinking I was safe. Oh my god. Here, turn it on. Okay, I have a barrel, I'm not afraid to use it. Oh god. Hey! Not here. Here, take! Take the. Okay. Okay! Right. Anything in here? In the box? 
Buck block it. Take that. Anything else in here? Well, oh god, okay, yep. Just here, back off. Back off. It's finally gonna leave me alone. I might have just given him some brain damage. No, no, no. He just completely forgot about me. Which he should. I am not your food. Got some perfectly preserved pigs in there. And I'm just gonna skedaddle out of here. This is not a time this is not a time for a flashback, man! 